Well, welcome to Upwards. I'm so honored today to have uh, <coughs> one of the gurus in the financial space, uh, Mr. Weeks Moore. My pleasure. So yes, nice sir, meeting my, you. Yeah, yes, it, sir. It's my been, pleasure. It's been a while. Uh, I'm so honored that today we are able to discuss this uh, matter that I think many people are right now in this uh, recession or this financial uh, crunch just wondering what is the best advice that one would get in terms of if I'm looking at investing, what can I do with my money, <laughs> how can I be financially literate and you know what information would I get in this season that can help me move forward. Absolutely. Well, welcome, sir. Just feel free to introduce better yourself, and then we move on from there. <laughs> hey, listen. I'm, hey, listen. As long as I'm with you, brother, I'm, I'm in good company, and um, and I'm glad for us to be hanging out today. You know, you introduced this idea for us to kind of share, right? Uh, uh, share this in your um, network of, of, of people, right? Obviously, today there's a there's a yearning and there's a need. Yes. For this information, there always has been. Right. But I literally actually believe that now more than ever. True. Because True. right in, just right in front of our eyes today, we are literally experiencing a divide. Right. An economic divide. Right. Probably one of the greatest economic divides ever mm. in our time. Mm. I know definitely that you and I will probably <coughs> see in our time. Uh, I've lived through one or two of them. You know, back in the late 90s, there was a uh, financial crisis. But then you and I both know just in 2008, nine, right? It was when it we was had bad the global, yeah, absolutely. Was, yeah. When we had the global melt, meltdown, you right? Had, uh, you know, the housing crisis. People lost their homes because mm. literally they were just fed bad information. Right. They were literally right. fed bad information. Right. You know, and the sad thing about it, uh, uh, Pastor, is that that bad information was fed to people on purpose. Hmm. Hmm. There was hmm. literally people that conspired to do that. And in return, these people came back, people lost their homes, and these people came back and bought those same properties for pennies on the dollar. The homes that other people, you know, who had no information lost. That, absolutely. The homes, thank you for cl clarifying that. Mm. You take a, a, a person who, who um, uh, you know, worked at the little townhouse, you know, right. in some part of... Uh, Saved, invested. Yeah, you, you, yeah. you and I are sitting right now in Montgomery right. County, Maryland, right? Right. And somebody it's, it's worked, stayed, stayed in the house for 10, 15 years, built a little mm -hmm. equity but someone encouraged them, no, sell that house and go buy a bigger house. Hmm. A bigger house that they couldn't necessarily afford, afford yeah. because the mortgages that they used at that time to cause people to buy those homes, people didn't have to come up with any uh, a proof of income. They didn't necessarily have the credit. They didn't have, they didn't have, the, uh, 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 they didn't have the normal criteria. To be able and to somebody that knew house. that these are people who can't really afford it. Yes. But then you feed into someone's greed or you feed into someone's ignorance. Absolutely. So you had you. I, I think you hit the two. You, you those two things conspired: right. greed and ignorance. Mm -hmm. Greed on the part of the people that actually perpetrated this right. act, the lie. and ignorance. Yeah on the part of the people that literally, uh, Pastor Jesus, I'm telling you, I was one of the guys sitting right here in Montgomery County talking to a family that says, ma'am, you don't understand. You can't afford the house. Hmm. She said, no, 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 you don't, you don't understand. Hmm. Sir, you all can't afford this house. The mortgage, normal mortgage payment on a house like this would be 4200 Back in those days, interest right. rates were even right. higher than now. Yeah. Would be 4200 Now, you tell me the arithmetic. How could a family that made $6,000 a month afford a four, four, two thousand $4,000 a month $4, just on mortgage? Just on mortgage. It, it, it's mathematically impossible. Hmm. But they were being told that the mortgage is going to be $1,200. And boy, they had already bought Every, the furniture. Right. They went into debt to get that house. But when those mortgages shifted, because mm. they were variable rate m m mortgages, right. no income, no verification, and boy, they sold their townhouse mm. here, took some of the equity, put it in the 
of a house, the four hundred thousand dollar house right. that they could right. not afford, right. and the mortgage payment is now going to revert to the actual amount, and when it reverted, they could not afford, afford it. the payment. And before long, f um, that though those properties were foreclosed on, literally in in the in in Maryland, th this majority of these things uh, started in California. Right, it, it, uh, it just it, came across. It came from the, the west and the nation, came yeah. right up here, passages in the county of Frederick. Frederick at, was at the time in one of the booming areas. Right, it was just coming up, and they targeted a lot of new uh, housing starts were right. going up. So the new houses, they had to find people right. Right. To, 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 to to buy them. The realtors. The, the appraisers, the Finance. financiers, mm. all these people said, man, we, as a result of that, those houses were actually sold way above. Um, the market price. The, 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 the market value, absolutely. And these people just bought into the lie. And literally what happened when all this stuff shifted, this what right up the road here in Frederick, uh, 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 um, in, in Frederick County, that county had 40% foreclosure rate. That's one of the highest within the state. Absolutely, it was the highest in the state. Right. Maryland didn't have, uh, and um, uh, just a whole bunch of people were threatened and, and just trying to maintain the houses, but they just couldn't. I mean, come on, you can't, $4,000 can't, you can't get $4,000 I mean, mortgage out of $6,000, okay? That, that, that wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. No, it, wouldn't work. it didn't work. That situ and there were people on the other side just waiting to gather the spoils. Mm. And that happened. Billions of dollars change hands. And literally, you know, in scripture, it tells you, uh, and, you uh, and there are people in churches saying things like, oh, the Lord will take from the rich Poor. and give to the, the wealth of the poor is made for the righteous. Uh, absolutely, yeah. right? Wealth of the wicked. Uh, yes is meant for the righteous. Well, guess what? Yeah. And people think because they were going to church and they were good, they're supposed to be saved, they think, no, no, no. Ignorance is no excuse. My people perish. My people perish, Hosea 4 and 6, For right? lack of knowledge. For lack, absolutely, <laughs> lack of knowledge. And literally, this is what happened. My you know, goodness. And, you know, yeah. and you and I being in right. ministry as well, I mean, I literally, I, I'm, I was talking on both sides. I'm saying, people, please hear me. But you know, it's the old John, John the Baptist, About, right? You kind of I mean, declaring the truth, right. and nobody wants Listening, to, yeah. to to listen. That that passed. Those fo those foreclosures, we had a peak of it, but those foreclosures are still. It's not at the top of the news anymore. But these foreclosures are still occurring. Oh, yeah, they, they're yeah. still in right. the background. Right. And then, of course, you know, we had COVID come up and we had all this jazz. Right. And because of the, just the, what you call a perfect storm mm. within a, so you're talking 2009 to 2019, that's a 10-year period. Right. So now you're talking within the last 14 years, a perfect storm has okay, been brewing. Has been brewing. Hmm. From that period, then you had COVID. Then you had the shift in one of the largest increases now in in mortgage rates back in 2000, early 2000s. We had double digit right. uh, uh, um, interest rates. Well, guess what? Those that same period is back now. It's happening. It's happening right now. It's again. happening. So yeah. you, you know, uh, uh, I mean, there's nothing funny about it. But the thing is, at what point in time? Do do we get people to listen? So it seems like history is repeating itself. Absolutely. And uh, <clears throat> the same, same players with the same message but quoted differently. Absolutely. So right now we're not talking of more or less. Well, it's not really in the in, in the open that it's the same thing that happened in 20, uh, 2008. Yeah. But I think it's just been... You know, it looks like it's the same thing happening, but same it's been game, covered. Yeah. Same game, same game, different dressing. Right, right. Same game. And at the and at the and at the foundation of it, at the base of it, are yeah. those two words, greed and ignorance. Mm. So what we've done in this last I mean I spent my last twenty five years right. sharing truth. In this field, know, yeah. 
in, 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 in this field, gathering knowledge and information. And some days you go and sit with, just like back in 2003, 2004, 2007, when we were actually the ones telling you, you remember the story right. I said, t right. t t t telling that yeah. uh, husband and wife, believe it or not, you think people will learn. Today the same things are happening. It's the same game, but every season, these things are seasonal. Every eight right. to 10 years, something else shifts. It's kind of a cycle. It's a cycle. Yeah. It's a vicious cycle and is designed to deceive and millions and billions of dollars are going back into the hands of the people who understand the game and they play it. The good news is it's possible for everyone mm. to get on the other side. Amen to that. <laughs> there is a great divide occurring right, right here. Mm. It's very possible if we, you know, Scripture says, well, the harvest is ripe, right? Right. But what? Laborers are what? The laborers are few. The laborers are few. Okay. So, so it's simply uh, 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 we, we walk in a purpose today of our mission statement. And I'd and I'll just like to share with you a personal mm. mission statement, which is to share truth that will set people free mm. and lead them into the presence of God right. for the purpose right. of transformation. Mm. Mm. Keyword, transformation. For the purpose of in their presence for the purpose of transformation. For the purpose of transformation, that people will change. Mm. Uh, in, in, in Romans 12 and 1, it says, what? Don't be conformed, to the, but be transformed by what? By the, the renewing, renewing of your mind, of your, mind, of right. your thinking. Mm. If we can uh, 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 literally um, have a, 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 a movement of people that are committed, purposefully committed right. to sharing truth that can literally, listen, we don't have to wait for the sweet by and by because no. we hear, no. thy will be done where? On, On earth, earth. As it's done in heaven. Okay, so, so well, I'm gonna <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, you hear. Right, right now, in, now, in the now. In the now, Right. how can we help people just understand? Let me ask you something, okay? If you and I did a survey, and we went around and asked a bunch of people, how many persons would just like to stay in debt forever? How many persons do you think will say yes to that I want to be? Yeah. No, we know the answer, right? It's a no, no. It's a no. Right. If we ask people, if we went around and said, brother, sister, you've got this mortgage, you know, you're not promised that you'll be here forever. Right. And you have a mortgage, you have a family that depends on your income, mm. okay? And you were to ask a well-meaning, responsible family, listen, if something were to happen to you, if God forbid you, you, you didn't make it home right. next week, next right. month, next right. year, and you've got a family that depends on your income, would you like to be in a position to place your family in a situation that financially they will not be devastated. Tell me, if you ask that question to people, tell me, who would say, no, I don't want to do that? You know, <clears throat> there's no one who doesn't want to be free financially, especially yeah. more in debt. <clears throat> there you go. But I think hearing from you, but does it mean that most of the time, because of ignorance, mm -hmm. lack of knowledge, as we said, mm -hmm. people don't know that there's a path that we can actually take to this freedom or to this, uh, to this place of being financially um, financially aware. Financial. You know, we, can, we can be aware of our debts and yeah. our needs, yeah. but then I have had situations where people actually have money in their hands or have a better income that they receive monthly, but they don't have a vision or they don't have a plan for that money. Correct. And so they still end up in the same, same place. Mm -hmm. You just say that change begins from the inside as a man thinketh. So easy. Yeah. If you don't change on the inside, then definitely the outside will change. So the financial planning that you're talking about, you think that's the missing link uh, between uh, people, uh, between not people, from someone being entirely broke the rest of their lives or living uh, uh, within this vicious circle of uh, getting and, and owing and paying. And <coughs> Absolutely. <coughs> that, uh, 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 
scripture teaches us that the thief comes to steal, to kill, kill and, to destroy. and to destroy. Right. God says, but I come that you might have life. Okay, leave that for one second. If we know, if okay, let's assume whether you're a believer or non-believer. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. Principle is a principle. It's a principle. Gravity is going to work whether you believe or not believe. Ignore okay? it or acknowledge it. Yeah. The, 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 right. The, the, there you go. So uh, to, to steal, kill, and to destroy. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, we are being destroyed simply because of the lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance <laughs> that's true okay you see that Robert, brother now, i like watch that, this yeah. there are basically three things i want you <coughs> for your listeners to understand okay right. watch this three mm. basic things mm. i want your um um there there, there are three institutions right. that literally uh perpetuates this one i'll give you this your traditional, we've been we've been taught in the old days, in the old, old days, my mm. grandmama's mama, mm. they used to put the money under the mattresses and what have you, right? <laughs> they didn't believe, especially if you people that came out of the Great uh, Depression, they kept their money in the mattresses. Under the mattress, stuff. yes. Then we went into the banks, the people involved in banks. In the old days, banks paid people 7 8% interest to keep their money. Right. Simple. This stuff is irrefutable. You don't have to argue about it. What do banks pay people today on their monies? Peanuts. It's, zero it's, point it's, zero it's, something percent. That's just peanuts. An insult to think about it. Absolutely. Yeah. So we teach people. Everyone may have heard somewhere in school something called compound interest. Right. Okay. However, nobody understands what that is. But it's a simple principle that is that 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 is uh, that comes from a financial principle called the rule of 72 mm -hmm. for your listeners the rule right. of 72 right. go to your phone say Siri rule of 72 you will see that the rule of 72 is the is the single way that wealth is perpetuated anything short of that you're in violation of a principle, and you and I both know when you violate a principle, it, well, what happens? It destroys you. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So the principle is the rule of 72. What the rule of 72 says, 72 divided by the rate of return, whatever you earn on your money. Now, people are trained to say interest rate. Mm. Change their thinking. Mm. Interest rate is not what you earn. Mm. A rate of return if you're talking about investing, it's a rate of return. Right. Just listen to the word, rate of rate return. Of return. There is no uh, ambiguity uh, amb about, amb yeah. ab 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 about that. Yeah. Now, we are trained to say interest. You know why? Because deep in the recesses of our mind, we the somebody earns interest when you contain when you maintain debt right what you pay on a loan is interest mm. Mm. what you get in the terms of investing is a rate of return without getting too deep it has to do with capital gains appreciations and dividends right dividends is a return it this is something that's possible for everyone to get right the instruments are there but we taught we we train by these institutions and the education system. Mm. So, we like to train and teach people on, if you change your thinking, you will change your talking. What life and death lies in the power of the tongue. The tongue it yeah. Speak life or speak death. If you start to speak the right things, you will attract the, the right, right things. things. Law of attraction, yeah. The, the, okay, so, 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 so three things here. One, mm. the traditional financial institution, brother, the traditional financial institutions, your banks mm. and your life insurance companies, mm. they literally abuse us. Point number mm. one, make a note of that. Mm. If you don't believe it, I said it right here, you heard me say it. The yeah. traditional, let, let me take that back. The traditional financial institutions, your banks and your traditional life insurance company insurance companies they abuse us you say what does that mean let, let, let me interject let me interject because as you said 
we've been taught to think mm -hmm. if I put my money in the bank, mm -hmm. savings, I'm safe. We've been taught to believe mm -hmm. that if I took an insurance, mm -hmm. again, for most of us who don't know, I don't know the difference between traditional or, or current, whatever it's, whatever is there. Mm -hmm. So would, do you want to say that having an insurance in itself, that traditional, or having a saving is, is not good? Or, or, or what's your take on that? Because when you say we've been abused or meant to believe mm -hmm. that those are the things that we need, I'm glad you asked that. I, I, um, I'm glad you set the question up so we can make sure it's very clear right. to your audience. Okay, how do these tradition? How do these banks and insurance abuses, companies how, abuse yeah, us? Yeah. Very simple. Let me ask you this question: Where does the bank get the money from? Uh, from we from uh, the from people. us from the people. Okay, the depositors. So, yeah, from the depositors. That's where yeah. they get the money yeah. from. They have certain bank goals, reserves, Bob Federal Reserve Bank, wherever it is. They get the money from the what? From the depositors. Right. Simple. Now, when we when we give them, so we deposit money with them. What do they do with that money? Do they put it in the back room? Uh, wait in for me corner, to come and take it. I, and take it. I, I believe maybe they they invest it in the That's money the market. Word. Yeah. Listen for your for your uh, uh, viewers. Uh, yeah. For your viewers. Yeah. Get use that word. Let's get people to start using the word invest. Invest Let's the move money. them from savings to investing. Right. It's that, a shift in the mind. That's where okay? the difference comes in. Yeah. There's a difference. Mm. When you invest, there is an opportunity for a return. There's, there on your investment. Some, on your investment, there is opportunity for a return. So what you ask me, I like the way you set up the question. So what the, where does the bank get the money from? They get it from the depositor. Right. Now, when you put the money in the bank, do they keep it in the back room? No. no. What do they, they invest it. How do they invest it? Watch this. You, Pastor Julius, you bring your $5,000 to, to the bank, right? You right. say, oh, keep it for me. Tell me, what does the bank give you on that? Is the bank supposed to give you some sort of interest rate return on that money? Ideally, you would think they'll give me something I, out of I, it. Ideally, yeah. Yeah. tell me, what do you know that to be today? Uh, that's low, not the case. Low it would be high. very, very low. Very low, less than 1%. Right. So let's just use 1%. Remember that rule of 72 I mentioned yes. earlier? 72 divided by 1. Let's do arithmetic. What is it? 72 divided by 1. It's 72. 72. The number remains the same. Anything yeah. by 1 by 72, 72. Is yeah. 72. So what I'm teaching you is this. If you put $1 in a place that earns 1%, as you said, interest, right? It, that $1 will take 72 years to become $2. Wow. I just told you that. Wow. <laughs> if it's $100, $200. 72 L years. It will take 72 years You're for getting that $1 you retired. Yeah. to become. So you take your age. Even your own born child. Right. If you put money from the day they're born, it, any money you put, we're it waiting take for the to bank two. to accrue and get an interest from okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Now I just use one one percent to make the arithmetic easier for the viewers. Right. Go start paying attention to the rates at your banks and your credit units. It's less than one percent. Hmm. Yeah, so if you do the arithmetic, yeah. so it's seven to two, but watch this. If that same money earns, let's say, a 6% return, do the arithmetic. Seven to two divided by six is how much? Hmm. I'll have dum, to. Dum, 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 <laughs> dum, 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 I was dum. absent in class that day. You tell me. <laughs> I could tell you, but I want you to tell uh, me. Please go ahead I and do that. I don't want them to say I'm you the said one it. who said So it. we're saying 72 divided by? By six. Yeah, it's going we have to 12. Be, what? 12. It's 12, right. right? So if you took that same six and you made that, let's say you got a 12% return, Mm -hmm. And that exists. See, I mess most people up because by the time I say 12, right. You, right. watch this. Watch the enemy. The same viewers, the same bank, give them a credit card 
with a 20% interest and they don't have any problem taking it. But mm. the minute I say 12% on an investment, they say, oh, this, too, it's, it's, it's just too low. No, it's, well, something's oh, wrong with that. It's, it's not possible. Oh, that's not too, too yeah. low. That's, uh, that's, oh, that's oh, too oh, much. Oh. <laughs> it's a scam. <laughs> They take the so it's easy to 25. pay 29% because most of them actually are about 29%, 29%. annually. Yeah. So the rule of 72 that I just taught right. you yours is working well in reverse for the for, masses. Of against the, people, the masses. Against the masses. And for the for whoever. Can, Absolutely. Yeah. But the rate of return, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, mm. 20, exists. And it has existed for a hundred years. But this information is not taught. Why is it not taught? Because your ignorance, our ignorance. Someone is feeding all of it. Someone is feeding off of it. Off of it, it's right. It's okay for your 5,000 to sit in the bank. And they take your 5,000, they put it in these investment. You've heard of something called mutual funds? Yes. Mutual You've heard funds. about the stock market? Right. How, what do you people say, well, I don't know anything about the stock market. But can I just explain the stock market sure. to, to, to your people? Very simple. You wake up in the morning, you go and brush your teeth, right? Mm -hmm. With the toothpaste crest. <laughs> it's made by a company called Procter & Gamble. Right. Okay, you go downstairs, you went to, the, you went to a, a Costco, and you bought the Starbucks coffee, right? Right. Okay, it's a company. Yes. That company trades on the stock, stock exchange. Market. You get in your car, you drive your Ford car or whatever. That's a company. Right. They all have, every day you yeah. are participating in, in the, the stock market. market. Indirectly. In, in yeah. the market. Yeah. As a what? Not as a consumer as a cost, yeah. of that market, oh. of, that, of that marketplace. Yeah. You're consuming the products, that, but yeah. you are not benefiting from the equity position of it. Every day we participate in the very thing we say we don't understand. And mm. when someone like us come up and say, let's understand it, we put up We don't have what? time for it. We don't have we, time we, for we it. We think it's, uh, it's and we too, say, oh, it's too complicated. Be, it's, it's, too, it, it's, too, it's too complicated. Right. Everything you use every day is a company. Every, we're using something called the internet right now. Right. Some company is providing the service. <laughs> then the they stock market. They make billions right. every day. 80% of people in America shop at some place called Walmart. Right. When I originally bought the, this is no solicitation for that, okay? Right. I'm not soliciting right. anything. But when I remember I originally bought the stock back in whenever it was $38. Go look at the price of it today. Hmm. The average person participates, take, uses things every day. But when you say, understand it, how it will revert to you for your what? Advantage. Financial yeah. advantage. Hmm. Then we put up a wall. Why? This is the enemy because of this ignorance. Mm. So these institutions, your banks, your f traditional um, financial institutions, or I say traditional because it's the banks and the insurance companies primarily. Right. Okay? So then they take that money, they invest it somewhere. Mm. Rule of seven and two works for them. Mm. And then since you want to stay ignorant, they say, oh, please stay ignorant. Now we have two minutes. Okay, so uh, fine. So let's wrap minutes. it up. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so let's wrap it up. One, those financial institutions abuse us. Right. You, would you like to know the second thing? Sure. Okay, so the traditional financial institutions abuse us. Um, then you have your educational system hmm. that do what? Do, it does the same because when it keeps out of when it keeps us out of knowledge, it's so, okay. actually financial. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so they, so they do what? They literally, they, we're uninformed by them. Right. Financial institutions. Perpetuate uh, the ignorance. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, 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 absolutely. I don't think it's accident, but uh, it's no conspiracy. Oh, it's by I, design, okay. though. I mean, it, it's by design because yeah. um, they, they, they have been, we tried to go, go into schools and say, hey, teach this stuff in grade school. Teach this stuff at least in junior high. Okay? So you have the abused. Mm. One, the other one ignores. They literally abuse us. Then they ignore us. Then your financial, um, then the educational 
system just says, hey, listen, they were on informed right. by them. Mm. So you have those three things working against us simultaneously. And one of the big... Yeah, so, so, so as we kind of wind this session down, right. um, those three basic areas I just indicated. Right. I, I, um, if we, if, 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 if people un can understand in a very simple um, setting, okay, mm. non-threatening, where I, 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 I believe that we can meet people where they're at. Right. Before we take them and just give them, just show them applications, things that apply to them. Right. And they can see a viable way how they can go from where they are to where they want to be in mm. a very non-threatening setting. Right. I believe that's the key, and that's what we've dedicated ourselves, you know, the these past 25 years right. to doing. And we teach and we develop others to, you know, each one teach one. Mm -hmm. So when I meet you, brother, and I say, hey, if this makes sense to you, do you want to keep it to yourself as you benefit from it? Oh, oh. Hey, share it with someone <clears throat> right, else. Right. And then we can build an army of people that can, in our individual communities, you know, you and I may never change the whole world. No. But I tell you, we can change a few people in our communities. And in from these communities, we can see the results and people can prosper. People can get out of debt if they want to. People can make sure their families are properly protected in the event of a death. People can save and invest for the long term and right. achieve something right. called financial independence. And all of awesome. this can be done through financial education, financial literacy, each one teach one in a very non-threatening environment. Wow. That's what I have for you today. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Yes, thank sir. you so much. Yes, sir. Man, I, I believe that we have, uh, we have learned a lot today. And uh, this is just the first session uh, that we're having or episode. I'm looking forward to next week uh, where we'll be getting a little bit more deeper into uh, this discussion. I'm sure there are so many people that would want to know what. All, what is all this about uh, financial literacy, financial independence, and all that? Don't miss next week. And hey, I'm asking for you to uh, make sure that you subscribe. Leave a comment there if this information has been uh, of a blessing to you, has helped you, has been any value to you. Please share this video and uh, let somebody know about it. Until then, we'll see you next week. Okay, God bless well, you. Bye-bye.